something in the other day. Uh, all right, let me just uh, crack open a cold one for the boys. <sighs> right, Monday I woke up uh, deaf in my left ear. So that's why I was missing for a few days. So I took a few days off just to recuperate and get my hearing back. I'm okay, so thank you for all the Snapchats and the Twitter messages. And if I do go missing again, please check the Snapchat and the Twitter. That's the first place I go to with any news about me and what I'm doing. Also in the back here you can see that there's been a new champion announced Kayan or how the fuck you say it The Shadow Reaper Which looks like some kind of necromancer The passive looks really interesting I think he collects some kind of bullshit And then you can swap between uh, forms The Q ability looks like some kind of dash towards things and does a spinning thing at the end The W looks like something from uh, Guild Wars 2 The Revenant Which does some kind of slowing Slowing thing in front of him the E looks like he can just like move around through walls, which is kind of cool. The ultimate looks like he just goes into somebody, uh, stays on them for a little bit, and then just exits it, does some kind of damage. That's my Aussie commentary for you. If you want more information on the new champion, uh, check the link in the description. It has all the information you need to know. Now, by the time this video comes out, you'll know that there is a new patch out. So, without further ado... So Galia's base damage got pulled down, and also the radius on his Q is a little lowered. Nas Q does more damage now, and they also buffed uh, Nas E, uh, who he jumps much more further when he's in mega form. Kennen got a whole bunch of retouches on his W. They increased the AP scaling on his E. Kazus got a retouch on his Q, he does less damage, but he does more damage when they're isolated. And he has a longer stealth duration during his ult. Now this is an interesting one because they've been buffing Kindred secretly behind the scenes every patch so she's slowly becoming more stronger. Her W and E got buffed and her passive comes up more often. Marco's base health went up a little bit and also they increased the range of his ultimate. Now this is a little weird one, they increased the max health damage on Poppy's Q. Now this is the overbuff here for the patch. Rexo is really strong so all jungle mains you gotta get on this. They increased the AD ratios on the ultimate. And here's one I don't like. They actually removed the AP scaling on the E of Shaco. Trying to go a little buff, uh, his Q can now do damage to towers. And his health regeneration has been amped up by a lot. Zaya got changed, uh, her knockout now scales with attack speed. Alright, you ready for this one? This is the big one for Ramus. His dance now scales with movement speed. There's been a few tweaks to the items, uh, the most significant change is Asian coin, it's going to passively give you more gold. Barmy Cinder got changed, the cost is a little lower, gives a little bit less health, but it's increased on monster damage. And that also connects to all the jungle items. And the rotating game mode is, yeah, again, uh, Pora King, yeah, can't wait for that. Also during the loading screen, they've added 120 new tips, and also they've added that now you can buy skins during champion select. Thank fuck for that one. And if you've been living under a rock, the new skins for this patch are all the SKT skins, in other news, uh, Panzer Dragon has been dropping N bombs on stream with no remorse. I shouldn't have listened to that fucking nigger call. Last but not least, a little bit of the Urgot rework splash art has been leaked. Looks like he's sucking a tampon or something. I have no idea what's in this image. Hopefully it'll be out soon. I really want to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, I have no time to play a game, edit it, and put the music on it and all that stuff. But uh, a lot of people said that you'd rather me put a video out than no video at all. Tomorrow we'll be back with the regular schedule. But I'm not going to leave you without your favorite segment. What? Jungler. This fucking bullshit game. <laughs>